Hello and um, uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, tutorial where today we'll be uh, talking about how to make the um, invisible maze on uh, our lovely death run map that we have done so far. Um, if you don't know, um, I'm going to try and make a death run map with all these tips that I'll try to give you guys, okay? Because this will be fairly basic. So first, that you can make the space wherever you'd like it to be. Like you can make it as big as you want or as small as small as you want. It's really your um, preference. But how I would, but we're gonna be um, doing the invisible maze. So I want you to scroll all the way down until you reach the barrier device so go to the devices tab and go to the barrier it's a trap and it will and you'll be able to place it and the barrier stops people from walking into something basically so yeah i'll be showing you a bit on how this works so let's say um, i don't want, I want the pair to go left when I start the when I start the actual um, game, they can't turn left, so they have to turn right. But let's say if I don't want them to go right and make them go straight forward, then I can do that. Or you could insert a little cheeky option with the barriers. Now today we're going to be talking about how to use the barriers. We won't go into the channels and that much in depth, just the basics of. We're going to go to the basics of the devices, then we're going to move on to the channels in between there. Because some some uh, devices need channels for them to work. So, barrier style, this means you can make it translucent, which makes it like this. Or pure black, which makes it just pure black. Stone, red force field, blue force field. Star field. Make, make it whatever you like. It's your personal preference, but for today we're going to just be using invisible. And let's say if I wanted to stop the player from being going anywhere, but there's a secret that they would have to who would um, jump over here. So the way I would do this is first um, we're going to be looking at this and enable during phase. This means um uh, enable during phases this means it if i put it to none that means um no matter if the game started or the game hasn't started it won't work but if i put it to all that means if even if i don't start the game and do start or start, start the game it'll work on both sides of that but if i just do pre-game only it only works when i don't start the game and gameplay only means when i start the game only if I turn it to all, this means uh, oh, um, well, I did not go according to plan. Uh, but yeah, block weapon fire. This just means that the, if a weapon can shoot through it or not. Like it can stop a player, but it can't stop bullets. It, um, the zone shape you can make it hollow. I don't actually know what this does. At least from my standpoint. Alright, oh, yeah, just, I think it just makes like everything a lot harder. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But you're gonna stick with the uh, normal box, okay? And here you have your barrier width. You can change your um, uh, the height, the depth, the, the width, and all that. So. For this, we're going to make it so it's 0 0.5, meaning it's half a tile, which is one of these. So basically, this, the way this would work is that they would have to jump on here, and then go through here. And then, let's say if I don't want the player to go that way. Okay, but then they go this way. But I want them to go this way and then make this the end. 
So it's a very, this is very basic, as you can see. We're really only going into the real basic stuff here. And the barrier device is a very helpful device if you don't want a player to go somewhere. But personally, I try to restrict myself from using barriers when I make my maps. I don't do death run maps. I've never done a death run map, really. Um, I think I've done it like twice in my entire creative career. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, I don't use barriers because I want to give the player as much freedom as possible and all that. So, um... Yeah, now we're gonna start. I'm gonna start the game and uh, show you how exactly how this is gonna work. So, as you saw last time, well, probably didn't, unless you were watching my stream, I suck at these. I know that's gonna. Oh my god, I, I suck at these, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this in because I think I'll just be. Funny trying to see me. Yes, let's go. Checkpoint pad. Now we could just go on here. Oh fuck. <sighs> okay. And now this is where it starts. So as you can see, you know, we can't go anywhere, but then we can jump on top, and this means then we can go forward. Oh wait, there's a barrier in the middle there. So we t t turn and left, doesn't work. But then we go up here, over here, and the level would end. And uh, yeah. That's a uh, very basic stuff on how to use a uh, barrier. There is also a uh, prop version of the barrier. If you watched our last episode, you know what a prop is. Basically, uh, um, Epic Games is starting to roll out um, new, uh, um, like actually new, um, well, not new, but like they're making like. Snip, snap to grid items like this, these device, like the barrier device, into a prop device, and it'll be the first device you see as I'm recording, and you might be watching this video. So we'll place this, and basically this means you can place it anywhere, meaning you can do this with it, this, you can do that, you can do that, you can do that, all, all of that you can do. But we're going to look at some basic stuff with this too. So, if you if you want an easier version of the barrier device, I recommend having the snap to grid one. But if you don't want snap to grid and it's necessary, then I would recommend watching this part. So it's got all the same settings, but it's a bit more enhanced because. As you can see, the barrier width can go down like that much. Same for all of this, look. That's small. That's small. Or that big, but that thin. R really they can make you can make it whatever you like. Now there's nothing there's not there's not that much of a difference apart from it's a prop and yeah. There's a very cool as the thing you can do with this that I won't go into because it includes devices and that would be really annoying to try and show you. But yeah, that is a very basic guide to uh, how to use um, the barrier devices. Now, um, if you did enjoy this video. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. But yeah, we're gonna. The next video will be about um, uh, uh, well, I actually don't have this planned out, so I'm kind of rolling along with it as we go. But I think the next basic thing we should probably learn 
is um uh, in it for death run at least. No, um, is sentries. We'll learn about sentries, okay? That'll, that'll be next. That, um, about something we'll learn, okay? I'm just gonna fill this in. So, um, yeah. Bye.